Well, good morning all, or good evening, depending on where you are. Today we've come down to Red Hill Marina. It's on the uh, border between Leicestershire and Nottinghamshire. Right by Ratcliffe Power Station. And the river is just over there. And we've come down for the Red Hill Marina boat show. Not been here before, so uh, we'll go and have a look and see what it's like. Well, I'm not sure what happened there. I lost the audio on some of the clips that I'd done. Uh, first one was fine. Do others, I don't know. Just pointing out Ratcliffe Power Station there. You pass that if you win to or from Trent Lock along the left line. And there is Gibson and Kenwright boat painters. I went in there, um, had a good chat with that lad there. It's annoying that I lost the audio. But I um, was chatting about how they paint these boats and I was commenting on the shine the, or the sheen on, on that boat there. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Um, it's all sprayed on and then uh, they use various other uh, techniques to bring that shine up like uh, that. That boat there they're working on, obviously for a customer, uh, it's been fitted out and um, it's a centre cockpit as you can see there. He was um, just putting all the windows in, then outside, so completely different. Uh, I'd come down for an auction. Uh, that's not part of the auction, that's just a for sale boat. Uh, the auction ones are coming up later on. But just looking at that one, it's been sitting there a while. Um, it's all for sale, it didn't say how much. And uh, just pointing out there along the water line, there's a lot of corrosion. Um, so that would need looking at. And then the anodes as well, the anodes back and front. I mean, not a bad looking boat. As I say, I don't know how much it's up for. Uh, but it wants a good old survey. And then looking across there, there's uh, various workshops there. There's Saw Valley boats, there's Ovation boats across there. And these are some of the others that um, I've been painted up. This is one here by Gibson and Kenwright again. And um, yeah, that paint's just lovely I just I just love the way that's been painted up and there they are Gibson's and this one here this is a wide beam um, and it's one of these sailaways now we're just coming on to the um, auction boats a bit of paper there will say lot one you see that one there and basically there's an online auction um, it's online only. It finishes uh, Monday, uh, the 30th at 2 o'clock. And all across there, all those are different lots. They're all up for auction. Another narrowboat there. And the thing is, it all depends, you know, if you've got the time, if you've got the money, if you've got the know-how. Now, um, if you regular views of Foxes afloat, Silver Fox is being sold. Colin and Sean were looking for another boat uh, to live on for a while. There you go. That one there, I found one for you. Just a bit of work on it, tin of paint. I'm sure one of you lads can do that. And have you ever been in the car park and thought, um, or the supermarket, where did I park my car? Where did I park my boat? Nice big fender on that one. Odd looking uh, craft that one is. And then this one here, I should think it would have been called Barnacle Bill. Full of barnacles. Sorely missed a local, local boat. And this is the start again of the auctions, that trailer there. So I think that uh, narrowboat was lot one, that's gonna be lot two and the um, four lift lot three so various watercrafts and various bits and bobs uh, in this auction um, some of them yes you, you could almost sail away that one no um, but as I said it's your knowledge of doing boats up 
you don't know this one here lot number six has its own little garden look complete with your reeds and things one or two holes in now this once was somebody's pride and joy I mean it's um, it's a lovely little boat at one time we'll just have a look at the inside so there's a story behind it what happened to the owner you know what happened to the boat why did it end up there was it just left in the canal and it was lifted out and ended up here got the original paintwork there look at that and pointing out this one here doesn't look too bad at all Oxford blue um, the hood was in good condition the deck there was not too bad uh, looking down the sides so I ran my hand along it it looks rough it was nice and smooth um, it would need a survey obviously and I think when I last looked on the auction site that was up for about two and a half grand something like that it's probably worth going on and have you know having a look and lot number 22 yeah just doesn't look too bad at all I think if you took most boats out of the water then you know you'd get that on the water line obviously a sad story behind this one um that's it's been burnt out you know deliberately or accidentally but again somebody's pride and joy at one time probably somebody's home but again there are bids on this one people are bidding on this boat lot number five And as I say, the auction finishes Monday at two o'clock. Another one with its own garden. And this one has got draft marks like they have on ships and submarines. They look 30, 20, 10. And the, this one here, um, I couldn't see the lot number there. That is, <laughs> that's like paper mache and, and mesh you've got to be very brave to take a boat on like this and we'll have a look inside and there we go let us say again you know probably somebody's pride and joy at one time somebody's home i'm just pointing this one isn't in the uh, auction just pointing out um they're working on it so they've written starboard on it the way i like to remember port and starboard is uh port is no port left in the bottle so port is left there's no port left in the bottle so at the moment this one is it's been bid on and it's up for 750 pounds at the moment um, the owner will supply or he will sell you an engine that uh, that will match this boat there's a lot of narrow boat bits and bobs here. Uh, I'll try and show the, the lot numbers. I'll let this tractor go Defenders. by first. There you go, that one, lot 70, lot 71, lot 95. All these are online, lot 96. Fenders here. A lot of outboards. Steering cables. And then go online, either tap in uh, Red Hill Marina or this card here, look, Industry Asset Services. Um, we'll just double check when the auction, when did the auction finish? On Monday at 2 o'clock. So Monday, 2 o'clock, it's online only. Get your bids in, uh, have a read of it. There is a buyer's premium um, and then there's VAT on certain items, but it will tell you as each as you look at each item it will tell you whether there's that on it or, or not um, if you're looking at a boat uh, they do a loading service uh, you'll get a charge for the loading service but it is quite cheap it is quite a reasonable very reasonable so there we go shut once again look industry asset services and get bidding away yeah I showed you the Gibson and Kenwright and Tristar I didn't realize over some uh, boats were tucked in between them there We'll go over there and have a quick look. So 
so there we go, we're going to have a quick look in the uh, TriStar boats based here at uh, Red Hill Marina. Uh, this one's just come out of the, uh, the steel workshop. And again, the paint works lovely on it. It's absolutely beautiful. And here they'll do all the painting and then they'll do the fitting out. And there's a nice wide beam there, look. So this boat's come into TriStar Boats, based here at Red Hill Marina, and they're going to be doing the fitting out. And uh, right, sorry, what? What's been done so far? So the spray foam's been done, and the wiring just started to go in. And uh, yeah, it's just waiting for the rest of the work to be done now. And then will you do the complete fit out as well? Yeah. We'll yeah. And this foam is just, just sprayed on? Yeah, so it's, it's just normal spray foam, but we're in spray foam, but acts the same, so it will all expand yeah. and put it back to the thickness it should be. And then all the panning goes and on. And panning yeah. goes on. Say the big spacious well next to the other one. It's when you got onto one of these wide beams, you've been on the narrow but you get onto one of these wide beams, you think, shall I, shall I? Tell you? All right, thanks for watching, Lee. Young lad was saying that uh, the steel work is done here. Saw Valley Steel so Boats. Again, we're outside Saw Valley Steel Boats. There's the contact details there. And their base here at uh, Red Hill Marina also. And this is where all the steel work's done. You just watch where I'm walking. So they're coming from this shop. Um, and go next door for either painting or fitting out. And I've started here from the base plate. A lot still worth a lot of welding gone on there. And you always got to have a radio in the background. Just come out of the Saw Valley boats, and stay based here at uh, Red Hill Marina. And um, that wide beam he was looking at there, it, I, I had to ask if it was a wide beam because it looked a lot wider. And the um, what's your name? Sorry, Talon. Talon, who works there, um, said, Yeah, when when the light, you know, when it's just metal work only, they do look a lot wider. That one is 12 foot 6 by 70 feet. And now just chatting away to him, and um. Saw Valley Boats built, uh, there's another YouTube boater building a narrow boat with Nanny and Grandad and their boat was built here. What a small world. So this is the last clip where the audio was lost but these three boats here were all built by uh, Saw Valley Boats um, and I was told that you can always tell if it's, if it's been built by Saw Valley Boat there's got on the rudder, you can just see it here, there's like a, what they call a butterfly effect and that helps with um, uh, fuel consumption and uh, water turbulence. This is another part of the marina, there's a lot of boats out being worked on. Uh, across there you've got the uh, cap and convenience store and just here the uh, Water Safe UK search and rescue. This is where they're based. your polytunnel if you want to go in there for a bit of painting and obviously your boat lift and the slipway so as far as the boat show goes I don't think there's an actual boat show on um, it depends on what you define as a boat show I mean last week at Creek obviously that's uh, been running for a few years and that is a boat show um, 
I think mainly today's one or this weekend's one is to do with the uh, auctioning. Um, yeah, if you go online, you can look at what's on the, the auctions. And uh, as far as the boat show itself, there's no actual boats to go on. They do have boat sales here, like every marina does, but that will be on their website. I bumped into uh, some other YouTube vloggers uh, down here, having a look around. Uh, the Beery Boater, he's, uh, his videos, he's doing his boat up um, from a shell, really. And um, another couple is uh, making a, or building a narrow boat with Nanny and Grandad. Um, and they go in depth of all their uh, their refit. Again, they've got a boat. Uh, both these vloggers, their boats were built by Saw Valley, um, and they're just fitting them out. And so, if you want an in-depth look at how they're going and how they're fitting their boats out, that's the Beery Boater and building a narrow boat with Nanny and Grandad. Now I'm just looking now this side of the bridge. There's a boat coming through here, and that's <laughs> and that side. There's a couple coming through as well. Let's see who's slowing down first. <laughs> Where you come from? Way off to? All oh, right. Yeah. I love the engine sound. Hey. I love the engine sound. Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? There's. Have a nice day. Yeah. Yeah, the boat that's just come through, they've come down from uh, Shardlow for a day out, and Shardlow is down that way. Probably about no more than an hour's cruising from here. One or two coming through now, they can share any locks that they come to. This is obviously a flood lock. I think that might be the old lock keeper's cottage from years ago. Lovely little building. I don't know if they're uh, privately owned or rentables. Very little moorings there. And then down there, look for uh, Shardlow and Sawley. Getting onto the uh, Trent, Trent and Mersey, Trent Lock. And then on the backwater here, more in for uh, these cruisers. And we're not too far from the airport here. I don't know if you can see that plane there, look, that aircraft. Just taken off from East Midlands Airport. So as it says there, the Sail Away Centre. And this is something you can come up and buy. So if you look inside there, So you've got the shell, it's uh, been painted up to a certain degree, floors are all boarded out, there's all your insulation there, and it's had the, uh, the spray foam on it. Oh, I don't know if this one's been bought, uh, it's been done for a customer, um, or if it's up for sale, but basically that's what a sail away is. That's what you'll get, and then uh, it's down to you to do all the interior work all the fitting out. I don't know how much of that last part of the video you got because uh, the gimbal that the camera's attached to suddenly gave up a ghost. But we're not about this one here, or this is a sail away. And there's that one we looked at this morning. 
painted by Gibson's tripping over. Lots and lots of room there, look. And I think I said it earlier when I did this one this morning, the paintwork is superior, it's, it's excellent. Well, there's a car park, not many in at all. More of an open day, I should think. And, uh, well, that's it. Going to one tomorrow down in uh, down Birmingham, Worcester Way. We shall go with that one. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, bye bye.